Hey, good morning, everyone. Phil here, and today I'm joined by my biggest fan. We're doing Matrix Multiplication Edition and the basic matrix manipulation that you need. We're not covering indexing. That's in a different video. We're not covering loops. That's in a different video. We're not covering how to create these. That's in a different video. This is simply how you're manipulating your matrices and doing math. Okay, cool. These, everything you're going to be doing in this is based upon the rules of linear algebra right you're in the matrix laboratory that's what MATLAB is thus you can't be surprised when matrix when MATLAB's trying to do things that relate to linear algebra for example adding a scalar to a matrix multiplying two matrices together you have to have the right dimensions of the matrices these are all things you need to be working well it's also going to be some of the reasons you're going to get a lot of errors in your code because things are going to be mismatched dimensions you're not going to be understanding why these issues are happening we'll try to cover some of the basics here We'll start off with just defining a, uh, a matrix X. If you don't know what the lin space function is, it's a very useful one for getting yourself a matrix to start. Uh, you go to help lin space in your command window. Generates a row vector of 100 linearly spaced elements between X1 and X2. I've got 0 and 100, but I've also used this end argument, sorry, n argument, which generates the number of points. 101 just gives me nice evenly spaced values. If I run this, I've got 0 to 100 all wrapped up in a matrix. It's a horizontal array. Cool. Let's not output that. Now, if we want to add 3 to x and create y, that's no big deal because MATLAB knows we're adding a scalar to a matrix, which means that we just add 3 to every single term throughout the entire matrix. Okay, we run that, and that's exactly what we're hoping for. Now it's 3 to 103. You could have just done that in lin space as well and done 3 to 103 but we're showing principles here. Okay, same thing with subtraction, as you just do the exact same thing. Now when it comes to multiplication, you have to be careful because remember your basic matrix rules. If you've got something that, okay, hold on here. We've, we've got a matrix one is a three by five. Okay, and if you wanna multiply this by matrix two, which is a two by four, you can't do that right you have to have your matching dimensions you have to have the n columns match the m rows when you multiply and the order of this matters right you can't just be switching things around so in general m by n times n m by n m by m sorry this n, I'm going to capitalize them to show this, so this n and this m have to be the same dimension, the same number. That's going to give you the small m by n. This is the small m, that's the small n here, and the these have to be the same, n and m. For example, what would work here is if you did a, back to that 3 by 5 example, a 3 by 5 times a 5 uh, by 2. That would work, and that would give you out a 3 by 2. Cool. Important to know. Okay, because Matt is going to always try to do matrix multiplication. Okay, and it's going to be doing this exact process. And that's when you use the multiplication signs. Let's just set up something here very simple. Let's just do a, a 1 by 2 um, or 1 by 3 uh, multiplying by a 3 by 1. Just to demonstrate this, we're going to create x equals one, two, and three. That's our one row by three columns. Y needs to be three columns by one. So let's do five, four, five, six. We rock that. X times Y. What happens? We get 32. That's exactly what we expected because the output here is a one by one. We get 32. That's exactly what we're hoping for. Cool. Now, if we switch this, what's going to happen? We do Y times X. And now we're going to have, we flip these around here, and this one is now going to be a 1 by, th it's going to be, sorry, 3 by 1 times a 1 by 3. And that works, and we get out a 3 by 3. Sweet. Okay, right. Now, in most cases, though, if it's not the same dimensions, both of them doesn't have the same dimensions when they're reversed, you're going to end up with some problems. Let's change x now. So we have a 1 by 3 here, 3 by 1. Let's change x to a 
2 by 3. Get rid of this. X is now a 2 by 3. Times a 3 by 1, we'll get out a 2 by 1 matrix. We have to add an extra row to X. Um, 6, 7, 2. All right. Make that look like the 2 by 3. Cool. So X times Y should still work, and we get out our two rows by one column as expected. But now what happens if we do y times x? We flip the order. Error. Because our dimensions aren't going to be working here. Right now we're trying to do a 3 by 1 times a 2 by 3. And the 1 and the 2 don't match up as the same dimension. And that's why we're getting an error. Okay, This is the most common error you're going to see in these problems because your matrices are not in the right dimension. Okay, Keep an eye out for this. When you're meaning to do multiplication, this is what you have to do. Sometimes, though, you're not always trying to do the actual matrix multiplication. Let's say you've got an example here. I'm going to comment this out so we don't keep getting that error. But let's say now that we've got x. Let's go back to our lin space example at the top. We've got some... Now, I'll just start with new variables here. Keep it easier. we got w equals lin space. Uh, 0 to 5. So we got 100 values between 0 and 5 from this call. And then we've got y is going to be lin space 10 to 20. Cool. I'm oh, sorry, we shouldn't do y. We should do different v. We've got w and v. Okay, we're still getting this output here. Let's suppress that. Now, there is a way. So these are just, these are just big arrays, right? There are 100, 100 long arrays. If we look at w and v here, 1 by 100s. Yep, just what we thought here, good. Now, you can't multiply these together, right, because it's not the right dimensions. You're doing a 1 by 100 times a 1 by 100. That's not going to match up at all. But what if you wanted to do the first value of w times the first value of v, and the second value of w times the second value of v? So you're just multiplying the ith element in one matrix times the ith element of the other matrix. To do that operation, you can add a dot here. And that means you want to go through every single element of the matrix and perform the function. So this is basically doing W1 times W2, sorry, times V1. That's going to do W2 times V2, right? And if we suspect what's going to come out here, well, this is going to be 0 to start, and this is going to be 10 to start. So the first item should be 0, and the last item should be 5 times 20, 100. Let's run that. There's 100 at our last value. And here's 0 is our first value. So it's just multiplying each of the elements together to get our hope, hoped output there. Okay, That's going to be your main other pitfall. And when you're doing these things, guys, the big, we just covered this before. right? This is add the dot, x dot, w dot right there. It tells it to go through each individual element. The other thing, too, if you're trying to do w squared, for example, it's going to have the same error because you're trying now, what's, what this actually is, is w times w, which aren't of the same dimensions again. You need to add the dot, and you have to add the dot, and then you'll get the actual outputs that you're looking for. And these should give the exact same outputs, and they do. Sweet. And then if you've got a long expression, something like y equals w times y divided by x squared, and you can't figure out why you're getting errors in these things, break it down. Back it up for a second, break down what's going on here. I recommend just doing each individual task and seeing if they work. That doesn't work, so you probably need a dot here. Okay, go forward, divide it by x. Does that work? No, you probably need a dot here. Check your matrices, right? Break it down into smaller things that do run, and then you can go ahead and add the next things with the dots, with the different matrix. You know, Keep in mind what shapes they are in if you're doing matrix multiplication versus multiplying each item together, all right? That's your basic intro to some of this mathematics stuff with matrices. Keep your dimensions together and figure out if you want the dot or not. Hope you enjoyed this video. Throw stuff in the comments. It is kind of a complicated example, just theory-wise, of what's actually going on here. Run these, run these examples. Just code it out. Dig into this. Hope you're getting some out of it, though. Seriously, comment. In the, I'll help you guys out. And keep on coding. All right. Take care. See ya. Hey everyone, this is Phil from Phil Parisi Code. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you're getting something out of these. If you are, please throw a like and subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you, keep on coding, and enjoy the week.